Uh, this is KC9 VKV and the other station. Go ahead, real. Go ahead, real. Other station just calling. Uh, come back. I come back. I think we may have doubled. Other station, try again. Try again. Yeah, right at my noise level, um, and then I went strolling through my SDR to see if I could be, get a better copy, but uh, I couldn't. So I'm on the Milford to PA SDR. Uh, this is KC9 VKV. Uh, loudest station, go ahead and try it. Go ahead. November India 4, Tango Golf. November India 4, Tango Golf. Uh, what's the name, please? Name, please. Uh, good evening, uh, James. The name is Sam. I'm located in North Carolina. Over. Ah, one of my hottest states. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What are we giving you there, Sam? Sam? Well, you're uh, on the Yazoo, uh, which has a stingy meter. Uh, your your F9. It's a stingy meter, though, and uh, but you got a good signal. Ah, uh, Roger that, sir. Roger that. Uh, you give me. Uh, looks like about. Uh, well, uh, looks like about an eight. Or nine over uh, on the Milford uh, PA SDR receiver, Roger. Roger. Okay. Receiver, Roger. Poor little file, and uh, you're, you know, fading a little bit, but uh, overall, uh, S9 plus, and when you uh, cut off the amplifier, you're, uh, you lose uh, four S units, over. Uh, Roger that. Now I've got you on my uh, my local uh, receiver now. And uh, uh, what kind of radio are you running again? I'm running a uh, Yazoo STDX1200 and just a little bit of power, about 400 watts without a marathon. Over. Roger, Roger. Uh, now, uh, my observation would be that uh, uh, that audio might be just a little bit more um, articulated if you maybe cranked in uh, a couple of uh, a dB more top end EQ. Roger. Roger. Uh, very good. Uh, let's see. Hang on. We'll just see how ambidextrous you are. <laughs> Not very. Is that is that any better? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, usually, uh, you know, uh, uh, signals need, uh, I think, a little more top end than what you would imagine because uh, the uh, top end EQ is the first thing that uh, gets uh, canceled as uh, uh, sky wave reflections start reflecting in different uh, time zones, uh, different, uh, slightly um, out of phase. And, you know, so that, f that phase... Uh, Cancellation starts at the top of the audio spectrum and works its way down to the to the lower frequencies. So uh, you can kind of count on the first thing to be lost is the uh, articulations. I usually crank in enough that uh, you know I'm not going to be uh, severely de-articulated by uh, Mother Nature as she uh, changes my uh, uh, phase angles, Roger. Roger. Uh, makes sense. Using an off-center fed uh, dipole. My favorite antenna is my Delta Loop, but I'm not using it right now. I've just put up this uh, off-center fed dipole and uh, playing around with it on 40 meters today. Roger, Roger. Now the next thing I would look at on that radio would be the ALC. Uh, and that is uh, controlled. Well, usually I suggest uh, if one has a um, uh, a compressor. I know that's a <laughs> that's a word that cringes a lot of people, but I usually suggest a three out of ten. Uh, crank that compressor in, but just a three out of ten. So it just starts the fattening process, and then uh, with your hand on your mic gain control, go to your ALC meter, and uh, you want to adjust that mic gain to where the ALC meter is running a mid scale to two thirds. Mid scale to two thirds on your ALC. Roger, Roger. Roger. Yes, I think that's. Uh my ALC is set, but I'm not running any uh, any compression. 
Roger. Well, what we're looking for, we were trying to get a fat signal, but uh, like about 3 dB. Now, you know, uh, when we talk dBs, uh, uh, we're talking, um, you know, like of unprocessed audio. Usually it's running about 30% average peak modulation. Uh, and uh, it's running about a 10 dB dynamic range. It's not being, you know, compressed at all. So as we uh, start that uh, fattening process, we, we try to move that uh, dynamic range to about 3 dB, which usually puts it at about uh, 80, 85 percent average of peak modulation. So it, it's a, a, a fatter signal, but it's not uh, that uh, 3 out of 10 on the compressor is, you're not going to hear that. Uh, you, one should never hear the actual work of the compressor. If you hear it working, then you've got too much. Uh, that should be something that's uh, uh, just helping, but not you, you're not sucking up the cows in the South 40 with it. Roger? All oh, right, yeah. I understand. Uh, KC9 VKV, ni 4 tg Okay, I've got a little bit of... Uh, 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 processing on now. Did that change anything? Uh, yeah, I think you've got a fatter signal there. You know, we do have uh, uh, conditions up and down, but uh, well, the part that I could really copy, uh, you were uh, uh, very nice, uh, very nice. Uh, and give me that call sign one more time. Okay, the call sign is November India 4 Tango Golf and I 4 TG. Roger, roger. And I got the name of Sam, and I'm sure that that's right. Sam, I appreciate you dropping by, sir. And uh, if you get a chance, uh, join us next uh, Friday afternoon. This uh, this frequency between uh, 3.30 and 5 Eastern Daylight Time. Roger. Roger, I'll do that. I appreciate the QSO, and uh, hope you make many more contacts. It's been uh, enjoyable talking to you this evening, and I hope you have a great weekend. KC9 VKV NI4 TG 73 James. Roger, Roger, Sam. And uh, like I say, we will be posting this uh, QSO vlog on YouTube within the next couple of days. So if you want to hear your radio and the difference between when we first started talking and the end, uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO vlog page. And on that page, uh, you'll look for a QSO entitled My Group Air Check. 51719. My group air check 51719. Today's date, Roger. Okay, James, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. And I forward to you. Roger, Roger, Sam. Three set way, sir.